I got a 20 hour load that much to do in it and I've got to be in Georgia Thursday morning so I delivered here in Iowa and I got to get back across the river somehow uh, and uh, get up to Sioux Falls so I can head down to just north of Atlanta I guess maybe I did ask for this so let's get uh, across the river here and uh, we'll try to make a go of it boy there's a lot of lightning been driving through this storm today and there's been just a lot of lightning today it's an electrical storm with a little bit of rain it's beautiful to watch you just don't want it too close so I ended up with this load uh, they called me up the other day and they said well we got a load right there in Lamar's you can load live load and then take over to uh, a town outside of Milwaukee I knew exactly where that was going I, I had no desire to live load waste a day and then deliver live live unload uh, not for what that load pays anyhow so I asked I said you got anything else going here 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 they came up with this one it's tight but uh, it's doable so when I got the load yesterday I was in a, I don't remember where I was I don't remember what I did oh yeah Indiana uh, I made it up to uh, I'm having a hard time remembering oh yeah so I pick it up I was in Illinois when they gave me the load I had to deliver this up in Iowa, then come across over here and pick this up. Uh, because I couldn't get this up till Tuesday morning, which today's Tuesday. I gotta be in Cartersville at 9 o'clock on Thursday. It's about a thousand miles. Uh, doesn't sound like a lot, but I still have to get there to get it. And when they gave me the load, I'm looking at my hours and I'm like, so if everything goes well, I should have about three to four hours left on my 70 by the time I get this delivered. Um, I'll start rolling over on Thursday, though. So I got to get up to Sioux Falls, grab this, and I know where I need to make it tonight because I need to get, I'll have to go to bed early tonight, get up on Wednesday at about, 2 2 30 in the morning if I can because I have to make it through St. Louis now if you can get through St. Louis by 4 35 o'clock Nashville is spaced out just far enough to where you'll hit Nashville around 9 30 10 o'clock now here's here's the kicker if I get as far as I want to I can make it through Chattanooga however you need to be through Chattanooga by 3 o'clock and there's probably no way that's going to happen, um, the hours wise, because uh, I gain an hour on the other side of Nashville. So I'm going to have to look at the time. And if we can get through Chattanooga and be on the south side of it by three o'clock, I'm going to go for it. But if not, uh, we'll be, hopefully, I'll be there early enough I can find a spot on top of the mountain. That's Mon Eagle. They got Chinese food up there. Got beautiful sunrise this morning. It's been uh, raining, but the, the colors have been really good. It, I wish you could see what I see uh, in real time because it's, it's actually really pretty out here today.
so we're here. Uh, let me get my paperwork and my trailer dropped and uh, we'll go from there. Nope, oh, there we go. So we gotta run over here to the uh, loaded line and get our loaded trailer. So we'll figure out where that one is. So we'll see about this. The weight on this says it is a, uh, where does that say? Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's wrong. It says the net and the gross are this far apart. We're gonna go get it weighed because I'm sure we're at somewhere around 78 to 79 right now because uh, it's always wrong, a lot. So we scaled out. It's actually closer than it has been in a long time. So I'm going to head to Sioux City, get some fuel, and then uh, we'll just keep on going. I know where I want to be tonight, but we'll see if that happens. So we ended up in Pacific Junction getting fuel, uh, finishing up a break right now. Uh, apparently I have a 915 gallons to hit diamond status. So we're just gonna give it a quick walk around real quick and make sure everything's good. Yep. Yep. It's all good. Uh, reason we didn't stop in Sioux City was I guess there's a bunch of construction going on over there and it's an absolute calamity. So let's get this going. I'm going to get into Missouri, which no one should willfully do. And then uh, just keep heading east. We got 18 hours and 43 minutes and we're going to use just almost all of that. I've been sitting here trying to combine my stops that way I can get more things in with less. It's been a, this is gonna be a tight run. Let's get into Missouri and we'll catch you there. So I've been sitting here looking at time, trying to figure out how far I can actually make it tonight. Uh, as we get closer, I'll check the distances again. Uh, but I've got to get up really early tomorrow. I'm up here now, I'm uh, on US 36, busting across the top side of Missouri. I'd rather be up here than on I-70. There were several different ways I could have gone, but this is uh, pretty much the fastest, so. And you don't have to deal with Kansas City or St. Louis traffic, which is part of why we need to get shut down is because I need to get through St. Louis early, like I said. So there are two truck stops I can stop at. Uh, one is the Loves in Bevere, Missouri, and the other one is the Loves in New London. Now, they are quite literally an hour apart. Just about an hour, hour ten apart. Theoretically, I can make the Loves with about ten minutes left on my clock. Now, that will all depend on how fast I can get through Hannibal. Hannibal's a wild card. Uh, so do I want to try to get to, just make it prepared and get through Hannibal tomorrow morning? Or 
do I want to try to bust through Hannibal and make it? Because there's only three truck stops that way, uh, two loves and an airco. And uh, so I've got to figure out, slow down, I got to figure out which is going to be put me in the best position. Of course, the earlier I get stopped, the earlier I can get parked. Um, I really want to be through St. Louis by 4.35 o'clock tomorrow morning just because I need to be, I would like to get through Nashville by noon. If I can be sitting in Mon Eagle uh, up on the hill there by uh, 2.30, 3 o'clock, I got a chance to get a good spot, so we'll find out, but we'll have to figure that out once I get that way. So we're in Monroe City, Missouri tonight. Apparently Joe has a diner. I'm going to check this place out and see how this is and then uh, we, we put some miles down today. Well, it beat a McDonald's. The ambiance is really cool though. Nice place. Food, mediocre, but that's just the way it is these days. But the restaurant was still pretty nice. So we're back here in the truck. Let's see what we did today. All right, so here we are. Uh, I got 17 minutes left. 36 on my uh, 36 on my 14 and 14, 14 uh, on my 70. Total shift, 14, 14 available tomorrow. Uh, I did 698.4 mi uh, miles in 11 hours and 17 minutes total on duty time. And the total on duty, uh, if you look at the log, that was all the dropping and hooking and stuff like that. Now, like I've said before, when you're here, make sure you check. Come on, you. This doesn't like to move. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Make sure that you have the right trailer numbers and the right products in there. Um, that way, you know, you don't get... It's on this screen is what's important. Uh, if you go down on the Sam Sarah and you go home here on this screen, this, this, doesn't, this doesn't matter right here. In fact, that's not even correct. So, make sure all your tasks are complete. And uh, make sure you got everything uh, uh, certified before you take off. And make sure that this is correct. But also, like you said, on your log part, make sure that is correct too. This is what the DOT refers to as, a, oh, what did they used to call it? Additional paperwork or supporting documents. That's what, that's it. Um, since everything's paperless now... Uh, Things like that have become increasingly important to make sure you have all that done. I, I know I've talked about this before and it's really not part of the trip, but I just thought I'd show you my hours and all that. We're not really picking anything up for a couple more days. Let me see. Uh, I won't pick anything up till Tuesday night at midnight, I believe. So, Thursday night at midnight. Yeah. So, anyhow. Let's, uh... I got to get some stuff done here. Get ready to go to bed. I got to get up at uh, 2.45, 3 o'clock in the morning because we got to roll. So we'll see you in the morning. So it's the next day. Uh, it's 2.58. I got 10 minutes. Everything still looks good. So, got a plan for today. Didn't sleep half as well as I would have liked to. Oh, goody, my cameras are on. They start glowing when they're on. That was part of the problem that we had when we were trying to get them going. As I kept telling them, it was a software problem, but I'm just a dumb truck driver. So I was getting power, I was getting the feeds, I was getting good pictures. They just couldn't receive them. Uh, and 
I was almost to the point of just going ahead and buying my own eagle eye setup, but we got this working. Anyhow, the plan today, that's what we have. Okay, so according to this, I have 9 hours and 27 minutes. We have uh, 626 miles to my delivery. Now, you knock about 35 to 40 of that off because of where I might be stopping tonight. However, I got two obstacles. St. Louis isn't going to be a problem. Nashville, they've been doing a lot of construction at night. So we'll have to play that by ear. Uh, usually I just take the Briley around to 40. I'll jump on the 440 and uh, take it all the way over to the 24 and I'm good. Um, I never go around the top side just because... Uh, from here to here all the way around there's uh, lots of stoplights and stuff but here's the other thing if I can make it all the way early enough to get through here we got it we're golden because if I can make it to uh, the Georgia line or Ringgold by 2 33 o'clock I think we're gonna be in good shape now I know what you're saying that's 11 hours from now. Why wouldn't you make that? There's a lot of factors. To stop and get some fuel somewhere along today. And I also have to, uh, like I said, do a half hour break. There are things that need to happen today. And traffic, it's completely unpredictable. I might get down there to Mont Eagle and it might be backed up in Chattanooga from a wreck. I might just stop there and take off at 4 in the morning. I may have no choice. I'm battling... 14 hours. That's it. That's all I got. And I'm not even uh, I'm not even picking anything up tomorrow. So I have to maximize every minute I can. Uh, it just I don't have a choice. I got to get there. 14 hours will get me there. Uh, by the time I get there, I should have two and a half to three hours left. And if any luck, I can be there tonight be parked over in Cartersville and uh, we'll just we'll just be good but we'll play that by ear so as soon as uh, four minutes are up I can go on duty and we can get going Well, I made it to Oak Grove, Kentucky. I was going to get fuel, but it's two and three deep right now, so I'm going to go get cleaned up. A lot of times if it's packed like this, I'll just give it about 20 minutes and then come back. And a lot of times this place will be cleared out, so I guess we'll find out. I could hit the loves in Nashville, but uh, no. That loves in uh, Nashville used to be a pilot and before that it was something else but the last time I was there I literally uh, had to have one hand on the pump and one hand on a 38 special it's rough and at uh, 2 in the morning it's rougher so we get cleaned up here maybe and uh, see the pumps well this has become a still life painting so I probably should have got in line earlier, but some of the guys that were in line are just getting fuel now, so I was kind of wondering, but I need fuel, and this is where I got to get it, so. so we got that going. We're just filling up one. Uh, this is good. The windows, and as soon as this guy gets out, I can grab my ticket, and I can go. 
Well, it literally took me longer to get fuel than it did to get a shower because Lardo McDorkass up there wants to uh, go get fast food and turn the uh, bathroom into a phone booth. I'm gonna, I swear, I'm gonna get me a, uh, a cell phone jammer. So every time I go into one of these truck stop bathrooms, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut everybody off. I bet you the bathroom will move a whole lot quicker after that. Um, let's get back on the road. We need to get through Nashville. It is 10 o'clock and I was hoping to be out of here 15 minutes sooner, which means I'm gonna hit Nashville about 1045. Uh, getting through Chattanooga is going to be iffy so when we get up to Mont Eagle we'll see where we're at and we'll go from there so we get up to on our way to Mont Eagle and it's just like this I blew a good 30 minutes in this mess so this is just kind of what you have. Uh, there was a semi up the road that, that was in apparently wedged between the two of these vehicles. So I don't know what happened there. But we uh, just continued on and made it up to Mon Eagle. And uh, that's where we just decided to take a break. Well, I decided to stop here in Mont Eagle, um, and I'll show you why. I could have made it down there. I wasn't sure what the traffic was going to do. I've seen traffic now. I probably would have been fine. But when you're battling minutes after what happened today, uh, there was just traffic jam after accident, after just all sorts of crazy things going on. It was just a real mess. I just got an engine synchronization event on my Samsara, which is odd because the engine's not on. Uh, but, hush you. Uh, so let's show you what I'm dealing with. So I'm dealing with five hours and 22 minutes and I don't pick up anything uh, until the day after tomorrow and that's what I'm picking up. Um, so what I pick up tomorrow is where to go? Right there. So why didn't I just bust all the way down there? Well, five hours and 22 minutes is why. I blew probably at least a half hour in Nashville and getting through Na or to Nashville because of stupidity. Um, this whole trip has been just sprinkled with it. Uh, just calamity after just goofy calamity. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even, yeah. So, chances are I get up tomorrow about 3.34 o'clock, which is 5 o'clock down there. If I leave out of here at 3.30, which will be 4.30, which means I can be there just a hair after 5. If I can be through Chattanooga by 5.30 tomorrow morning, I'm going to save time. Unless they're doing road construction at night. But, so... Well, that's the plan is I'm gonna let all the traffic die down I'm gonna try to get through it and uh, I, I don't have I don't have any time to do anything tomorrow anyways I've got five hours and 22 minutes so I'm gonna burn probably two to two and a half getting to where I need to be they got another load he wants me to try to get loaded tomorrow um, and if everything goes well that shouldn't be a problem at all I got a bus north of Chattanooga to go get it I'm going to load it, and then I'm actually just going to go to bed. I mean, that that's all I can do. So, um, that's the plan tomorrow. So, let me try to get all of this uh, caught up here, and uh, I guess we'll just see you in the morning. Well, it's 3.15 in the morning. It's time to get going. Always check your fifth wheel. So, we're pretty much already halfway through my day, and we haven't even started yet. 
this is all I have today but that's what I get including tomorrow I slide into this open fuel pump here wash my windows and then we're out of here let's get out of here we got to get down the mountain and uh, through Chattanooga so let's see how that works So, we made it to Cartersville. Got here about two hours before the appointment time. Uh, put me right to a door, which was nice. Uh, stop, did stop and get fuel, uh, because I've got two hours and 57 minutes left, and I've got to go up to Cleveland to pick up another load. And uh, I decided to stop and get fuel and grab a quick shower when I knew I had time in the morning versus when I can't stop and get up there. I got to get fuel anyway, so I was going to have to stop one way or another, and uh, I'd rather get it to where I know I have time versus uh, when I don't. But we did quite a few miles. Just this load alone was 16 hours and 28 minutes, uh, 1,123 miles. Not bad. Uh, so... Yeah, I had a couple little slowdowns and whatnot, but it, it all worked out. As you see, with all of this, uh, this says it's 19 hours and 21 minutes. It actually was about three hours longer than that. Uh, I just started from where I stopped that morning, or I took off from that morning. Uh, I forgot where she was when she called me and told me about this load 1318 miles I did that in two and a half days not bad uh, so yeah it was a uh, it was pretty tight so we made it work thankfully we didn't have to do any split sleepers or anything like that um, but sometimes you just have to get creative and you got to be thinking three moves ahead. Uh, why I stopped in Mont Eagle uh, last night was, wasn't because I couldn't make it through. I didn't know what traffic would be doing once I got south of there. Turns out I looked at it and it would have been fine going through there. But you just don't know. And truthfully, five hours is five hours is what I was dealing with. So I would have burned it you know, yesterday. I would have burned it today. Uh, and I would still be here at this place with the same amount of time regardless uh, like I said I have two hours and 57 minutes left so that's I mean time is time and when you're dealing with those little hours over a 14 hour spread it really doesn't matter you're not gaining you're not losing if I had driven down to Resaca and parked out I'd be sitting in Resaca with you know three and a half hours versus sitting up there with five and a half hours you know I'm not gaining anything so sometimes a little perspective does make your decision making a little easier and if you got time I mean I much would have rather been in Mont Eagle anyway so I was there's better food to eat up there it was really nice and cool last night and uh, getting out of there was a uh, was a breeze this morning so sometimes 
it is what it is, man. Just think about three moves ahead. Have a good time doing it. And uh, sometimes when you get a little cramped, you can do it. Just you got to figure out how to be a little creative. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Go out there and have fun, guys. We'll see you next video.